Mountaineers will kick it off to begin the second half. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And out comes the offense. Set to take over here. And we get the second half started with the running play. Well, much like what we saw in the first half, Chris, in this playoff game, no adjustments. Go right back to giving this running back the football. He's had a monster day and continues to get positive yards. Caught over the middle. It's Davis. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. So ball at the 30. This is a manageable third down play for the offense. And they pick up the first on the ground. Defense stops him right at the line there. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Here we go. Fourth down. They'll try to run for it. Tackled at the 32. That's enough for a first down. Trend show guys that are continuing to go for it on fourth down. What's crazy to me, Chris, is deep in your own territory to go for it on fourth down. It's a big risk, but it pays off here. Defense makes the stop after the completion. That completion makes it second down. They'll give it to the back. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Check this out. Offense going for it inside their own 40. Trying for a fourth down completion. Complete to the running back, but can he get there? They've got him at the 48, but that's a first down. That's a pretty good job here by the defense, really, on this fourth down. They took away all of his intended receivers. He just checks that down as a last-ditch effort. Give credit to the back for picking up that first down. Second down after that run on the previous play. Play action fake. Looking to throw. And it's incomplete that time. Just out of reach of the receiver. And the long drive continues. The offense just grinding away here. They're going to run it. Matt gets the carry. Brought down at the 40. That'll be a first down. Nice first down run here by this running back. And these are the kind of situations on third and short that you could gain a lot of momentum or it can kill a drive and kill the confidence of an offense. Here they pick up the nice first down, which is great. New set of downs. But it also gives you a lot of confidence if you wear that defense down psychologically. The defense trying to hold up here. Play number 12 on the drive. And the runner brought down after just a short gain. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Try and muscle for the first down. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. It makes them block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag, doesn't get it. Brings up third down. Defense cannot get off the field. The long drive continues. And he'll drop back here on third down. Looking to set up a screen pass here. Four set of bounds, but a nice gain there. And the offense will have a first and goal. And the Eagles come to the line with first and goal. Here's a handoff on first and goal. Ball carrier tackled there. Offense facing second and goal. And off inside, looking for the touchdown. And he'll be brought down. Hey, I can understand why they're trying to run the football here, but Chris, let's face it. The way this quarterback's been throwing it around, I'm surprised we didn't see them call his number. He's already thrown for three times. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. And they go in front here in the second half. And now to try here for the extra point. The extra point makes it a four-point game. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. He's going to try for a return from a couple of yards deep in the end zone. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Mountaineers offense is back out on the field. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. 
moves the ball out across the 30. That's good for a first down. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Grab behind the line. It's Robinson. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Receiver makes the catch. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. It's third down for the offense. Quarterback drops back. The ball is caught. Defense finally brings him down, but a nice chunk play. And the Mountaineers looking to keep this drive rolling. And there's the handoff. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, held him just to two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably thinking about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. They bring him down, but that game moves the ball all the way to the 31. And that completion, Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, anytime a quarterback has a day like this, really it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now. He'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Oh, a reverse. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. The defense there showed incredible discipline on the backside contain. And that reverse wasn't going anywhere. Just textbook. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. The Mountaineers bring their punt team onto the field. He's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. And the punt head's out of bounds. They'll spot this ball about the 30. Georgia Southern's offense retakes the field now. A beautiful, balanced drive reached the end zone last time. Can they keep it going here? Breaks loose at the 45. Cuts out of bounds after another big gain on the ground. This running game has been strong today. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? And the back gets the football. Just a small gain. Look at it, second and nine. Quarterback looking to connect for the receiver here. Not able to connect, incomplete. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Comes up with the catch. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. You know, they don't pick up the first down here, but they do get some positive yards, and I really like the route to get enough separation to give the quarterback enough room to put it in there. Needs a completion here on fourth down. Flips it with the running back, but he's got work to do. And they wrap him up, but the gain is good enough for a first down. And the Eagles come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. We'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. It's incomplete. That was caused by the defensive pressure. And now it brings up third down. We'll see if the offense can move the chains off that incompletion. Pulls it in. It's Davis. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. Now this is the eighth play on this drive. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Quick throw complete to the tight end. What a huge collision. Float delivered there by the linebacker. That completion makes it second in medium. Makes the catch. It's Davis. They bring him down at the seven. The offense set up now with a first and goal. And the Eagles will line up here on first down and goal. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. Touchdown, Eagles. This offense really clicking. Kicking team on now for the extra point. Extra point makes the lead 11. 
The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. And it comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. And the West Virginia offense is back out on the field. They put together a long drive last time, but stalled and came up empty. Can they reach the end zone this time? Heads out of bounds as a short gain on play. And completion makes it second and short. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Receiver makes the grab. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first half. A new set of downs after that completion. First down, looking to throw the ball. Caught quickly. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Grab behind the line, it's Johnson. And the defense grabs him after the completion. He's just short of a first down. They've won it four times already on the verge of a fifth. They can't convert this third down. It's a quarterback keeper fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short of that first down marker. Kirk, it's Georgia's Southern in front right now, sitting in a pretty good spot as you wrap up the third quarter, trying to keep those national championship hopes alive. Let's take a quick look at the game set so we have a chance. You get him at the 42, good enough for a first down. Oh, man, what a really guts the play here by this quarterback. Keeping it himself on fourth down, getting the yards he needs to to pick up the first down. Good decision. He flips it to the back across the middle. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Getting set. Here's second down. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. They scoop up the ball. It's still a live play. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks have got to do a better job of having awareness and taking care of the football. I felt like he got the ball away from his body there a little bit, allowing it to be knocked free. He caught a break because one of his own teammates was able to see that and get on top of the ball. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. And the Mountaineers will bring their punt team onto the field. And he's on for his fifth punt of the day now. And the punt lands out of bounds. Let's see exactly where they'll spot it here. And here comes the Eagles offense back on the field. They had a brilliant touchdown drive last time, mixing the run and the pass. Can they keep that going again? Well, they test the middle there, but get nothing. Important second down play coming up. Here's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Running back has it on the screen now. Breaking free at the 35. Out of bounds, but not before a big game. This offense is ripping the defense apart today. The offense operating at peak efficiency to come to the line again. It's good for a three-yard game, so second and seven. Now I like to run play here, and offensively at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first, while also staying in bounds and working that clock. Snags the quick throw. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. And the Eagles are moving quickly down the field. He hands it off from the gun. He makes the stop, but not before a solid game that time. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? No run it. Hand it off to the running back. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Golden Eagles. How important was that touchdown, Kirk? It's now a two-possession game here in the second half. It's a great job of this offense with their execution and having situational awareness here in the second half. They now have, as you said, Chris, this two-possession lead. they got a great chance to finish it off and get a win. He's going to bring it out of the end zone from a couple yards deep. That strong coverage, though. They tackle him at the 11-yard line. And the Mountaineers' offense is back out on the field. Remember the last possession, it was a long march, but it stalled. They came up empty. Can they find the end zone this time? He's got it for a big game. And he will make the first down. Tackled at the 26. A new set of downs after that completion. On first and 10, looking to throw. It's a quick grab. 
I love what the defense is doing here. Sitting back, giving up some plays underneath, tackling these guys inbounds, and just keep that clock rolling. Second down, we're going to throw it. It's an out route, the catch made. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Mountaineers getting set on first and ten. Looking to throw again. He's going for a big play downfield. The catch is made for a huge pickup. Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Mountaineers. The key to me in this is the quarterback gets the ball out of his hands early. Allows the receiver to run underneath that deep ball on that post route for a beautiful touchdown. Extra points, splits the uprights. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Here comes the Georgia Southern offense back on the field. The last possession, they really had the passing game clicking. Move right down the field for a touchdown. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call, and just keep working that clock. Try to run it up the middle, but get nothing. Well, there's something we haven't seen much in this game at all. That ball carrier being tackled near the line of scrimmage. Maybe if this defense can make more plays like that in the second half, their team will be able to chip away at this lead. It's fourth down and four to try to keep the drive going. Offense looking to throw the ball. Finds his receiver. That's enough for the first down. And the game just good enough for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. Ball handed to the running back. That one moves the ball across the 40. That's exactly how you want to start this drive, working with the lead in the fourth quarter. Take as much time off this clock as possible. That's a great way to get this drive started. They stop him at the 47, but that's enough for a first down. The running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. And they'll go right back to him on first down. Now you're starting to see this defense, I think, wear down now that we're in the fourth quarter. It's been a tough day for them, and the offense is taking advantage of it. A lot of positive plays. Good job of eating as much clock as they can here on this drive in the fourth quarter. Offense sets the formation. It's third down. Can he get there on the ground? And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Tackle inside the 40, and it's good enough for a first down. This defense just cannot get off the field. Long march is on. He hands it to the back. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. And the Eagles will crank up the tempo. But these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. An explosive play. They finally get him down, but the offense very near to the red zone. Another chunk play. This offense is really clicking. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. They don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. On third down, he drops to throw. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. He moves the ball to the seven-yard line. Offense has a first and goal now. First down and goal here. A touchdown just about puts this game on ice. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Well, no surprise there. They gave it to him one more time. The defense is able to come up with a stop. Listen, this guy's already got three touchdowns on the game. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. Now the important point after attempt. Number three. Extra point up and good. They build the lead to 18 in the final quarter. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner opportunity to bring this back. 
doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. And the West Virginia offense is back out on the field. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Tackled quickly after the catch. He'll be short of the marker. I really like what this defensive coordinator is doing right now. He's got a nice lead to sit back. The most important thing is tackling this offense inbounds so that clock will keep ticking. They bring him down, but he was fast enough to get that first down yardage. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Had been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. That completion makes it second and medium. Well, as a defense, he'll take that all day. No problem at all. You give up a short little route. You tackle him inbounds. It keeps the clock running. That's a great job by the defense. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Well, we saw a lot of this in the first half. They go right back to him again. We can see the second half, that same trend continuing. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I'm rolling my coverage. Get a corner up in his face and put a safety back behind him. Some kind of double coverage to slow this guy down. So, second down after the incompletion. Looking to throw it again. Fires it to the wideout. What a job to lay out and make the catch. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. I mean, at this point, it seems like the quarterback is just looking him up exclusively. That time, he dove for the football, able to reel it in. This guy's turning into Mr. Reliable. And they stopped him just short of the end zone. The offense set up for the first and goal now. From the gun, he looks for an open man. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. Second and goal for the offense. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Oh, he can't hang on. What an opportunity to score there. Instead, incomplete and third down. Third and goal. Looking to throw for it. Touchdown, Mountaineers. This offense is still clicking. Let's see if they can convert the point after. And the PAT is good. I believe they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the hand seem able to make the crucial recovery. Georgia Southern's offense retakes the field now. They really had the defense off balance in the last possession, mixing the run and pass extremely well. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And that's the two-minute warning. This offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. They'll use that running game, trying to bleed the clock here. And they'll get him down that time. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. They'll try to run for the first down. And the Eagles are moving quickly down the field. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? And they'll stop him after a short game. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. And just a short gain this time, they're able to get him down. So the offense faces third and short from the plus 26. Might be four down territory, but let's see what the call is here. They stop him, but it's a first down. Well, this offense just seems to get more confident as this football game is played out. They've got a nice lead. Here they are in the fourth quarter, just working that clock, possessing the football.